Are you all, have you all heard the story of that Lee, Massachusetts barn? Well, during the Tidings Committee hearings, we received a tip from a, an ex-communist over in Paris that all of the documents that had disappeared from the Communist Front IPR were stored up in a barn way up beyond Lee, Massachusetts. I couldn't believe the story at that time. It sounded too fantastic. It sounded too much like the Hollywood version of a spy case. I didn't have the investigators to send one up, but the story bothered me from day to day. Finally, we sent one up. And sure enough, way back in beyond Lee, Massachusetts, back in a side road, back in the woods, a barn that looked as though it couldn't house a farmer's cow from the outside. But taking pictures through the windows, beautifully paneled conference room, maps of the Soviet Union, Soviet slogans on the wall. Well, we couldn't tell the Tidings Committee about that because we knew there'd be a fire in the barn the next morning and all the documents would disappear. So I took the liberty of uh, borrowing some of the documents and photostatted them, returned the originals. We still couldn't give them to the committee very well because they know where they came from. There were too many valuable documents left. So we had to wait until the McCarran Committee took over. When the McCarran Committee took over, they sent a truck up to Lee, Massachusetts. The subpoena kicked down the barn door, picked up some 200,000 of the documents from the Communist Front IPR. Wires from the Russian ambassador Umansky to Alger Hiss, letters from Hiss to Latimore, from Latimore to Fred Field, from Fred Field to Jessup, to uh, Edgar Snow, Nim Wales, the, the, entire, the entire interlocking group. 